We spend a lot of time filming bikes. Uh, we love it. It's very rewarding, uh, hard work, and um, we have delusions of success. When we're spending hours in the forest, I need my camera kit to be as light as possible. If I'm going to drag my ass up a 45 minute climb to get 300 views on YouTube, I'm going to make sure my kit's light. There is one magical tube of glass that is on the front of my GH5 more than anything else. It's the Laowa 7.5mm f2 rectilinear lens. I call it pretty much the best lens for everything we do. Almost. So what does rectilinear mean? It's not a medical tool, it is in fact a blessing, and it is basically a way of making a lens that means that it suffers from no barrel or pincushion distortion despite being extremely wide like a fisheye. That means that vertical lines will appear straight in your frame. Now that was almost verbatim from Wikipedia, so you might want to lower your expectations for this video. The most famous example is the rapid rectilinear lens developed by John Henry Dalmager in 1866. Rapid rectilinear lens. Sounds even more medical. You will have seen fisheye lenses being used in action sports forever. Um, they're great, you can get really close to the action um, and still get a bit of the background in. And the best part about them is that you can charge interest on repayments when a skater boy tray flips the front off. So why do I choose to use this lens rather than a cheaper, more common fisheye? Well, number one, it's fast. F2 is pretty good for almost anything we do. Um, and it's not the sharpest at F2. I'll get to that later in the performance section but at every other aperture, it, it's pretty damn good. Number two, it's very lightweight and very small. I mean, it, it's tiny, um, which is awesome. It keeps the kit lightweight. Now, do I feel inferior when I'm standing next to a guy with a hulking 70 to 200 on his 1DX Mark II? Yes, I do. Three, it's incredibly versatile. I mean, I use this for real estate, walking and talking with the camera, and pretty much everything in between. I'm walking and talking for uh, no other reason than to just show you what it looks like. But um, I kind of wanted to show how this lens can render spaces really nicely. It doesn't make them look bigger than they are, but kind of more realistic. You can create quite a lot of depth and verticality in your frame, I guess. That's sick. Meow. Okay, performance. The most important part after price. Now I'm not too bothered about ridiculously sharp lenses. I kind of like a vintage look. Um, but at anything apart from f2 and f22, this lens is pretty tack sharp. I even put a Promist in front of it. Um, if you don't know what a Promist is, then subscribe and I'll do a video about it. That's what's on the lens right now. There is a bit of a magenta colour shift at f2 and f22. Um, it's perfectly fixable with a white balance slider. Um, doesn't really bother me too much, but I tend to just stop down to 2.8 whenever I can. Um, pretty rarely do you really need to use f2. Another thing to note about the performance is it flares a lot. Uh, 
the lens is quite dome shaped and if you're running an ND filter or something on there, it will flare quite a bit in direct sunlight. The flares look really cool, but they're a little bit hard to control. Um, it comes with a lens hood, which is really pathetic. It's tiny and means you can't use filters, so I don't really use it very often. It's just loose in my bag somewhere. Moving on, it's fully manual. No electronics here, just how I like it. The aperture is not declicked, um, which is probably my biggest gripe with this lens. Um, it's in clicked increments. You could really Emmanuel Lubezki the shit out of stuff with this lens, but as soon as you change lighting, you see these massive changes in aperture and it, it kind of spoils it. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you may know Lubezki by his most groundbreaking work. Cat in a hat. Not kidding. But in all seriousness, you should watch all these films in one sitting and then continue this video. Thanks. Focus. It pretty much stays on infinity the whole time. Um, it's got a nice smooth focus ring that you never use. No image stabilization here. IBIS doesn't work either in body image stabilization. IBIS doesn't work because of its wideness and rectilinearness. It really creates a unique effect that some substances are known to supply for like a 20th of the cost of this thing. There are two versions of this lens, both go for about 900 New Zealand dollars or 16 sheep. That's 500 US dollars for the rest of the world. They do come in two colours as well, black or silver, which I only just found out about while researching for this video. And now I really want the silver one. To tell the two versions apart, you'll notice that mine has a blue ring and the other version has a red ring. Now that's pretty much the only way to tell which one is the enemy. The red ring version is lightweight. For aerial battle. This one is for Micro Four Thirds mount. As I said, it's on the front of a Panasonic GH5 most of the time. Um, Lyoba make versions for all different mounts, different wide focal lengths and that sort of thing. This one equates to about 15 mil on a full frame sensor. They actually also make a nine millimeter for full frame, which is the world's widest rectilinear lens. And it is perfect for always getting your thumb in the corner of the frame. The company also makes some other questionable looking lenses. But yeah, this lens is pretty much amazing for everything I shoot. But more specifically for mountain biking, because that's probably why you're here. It, uh, it makes us look fast even when we're riding like And that just brings a tear to my eye. It's truly beautiful. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I know it's a bit different than what we usually do, but we actually do get asked quite a bit how the videos are made and, and what equipment I use and that sort of thing. So I figured it might be kind of interesting. Also, thank you so much to everyone that subscribed to our channel so far. Um, me and James are so stoked with the engagement with the videos and stuff. And the fact that we're getting closer to a thousand subscribers just blows my mind. Um, also, just want to let you know if you did a quiet nose exhale at any of my jokes this video you have to subscribe it's the law sorry it's out of my hands also if you didn't know there are two of us that run this channel there's me my name's finn um here's my instagram and then there's james whose instagram I'll forget to put in conveniently and yeah we've been mates for a long time we met through mountain biking that sort of thing uh, we're both really into filmmaking. I studied at New Zealand Film School and I do it as a job and then we just do this on the side and we love it. Um, so yeah, follow us on Instagram and you can keep up to date with our lives, I guess. I don't know if you want to. And yeah. Oh, one other thing. It makes your legs look long.